something before we head off on our break. I'm thinking I'm going to get the horse trough down there and start some wisterias off. Wisterias need to be in full sun. Bam! There's the wall. Oh, I've bought, ordered some sort of goo. It's like blue tack that solidifies, and you put like picture hook rings in, and then you put um, fish wire, you know, sort of like nylon wire around it, so it looks kind of invisible, but it creates a trellis. And that way you don't have to drill into the outside of your wall and then rust gets in and all that malarkey. That's the plan. But what I'm gonna do now is take this, put some sort of plastic lining in it, chuck a load of soil in it, put a couple of wisteria in it, we'll say it, we'll say it. And then the great thinking about this is if they get to a point where they're too much for the box, get a huge fucking mallet, smash the fuck out of that pull up the concrete, bed it in, and it grows properly. Up there for thinking. Down there for romancing. This will be, or could be, when I'm 95, a beacon of tranquility. I'm actually going to do is chuck a whole bag down on each side, a bit like a tomato feeder or bed, cut it open and then let, be, let that be the bottom. See what I mean? Did you get me? No, I'm on the other side. This one looks a bit pathetic. This one, I would like Wisteria, Chinese Wisteria, Floribunda. Yeah. So we've got two. Now over here, oh, it's, it's, it's already gone round there. Oh my god, this has already gone round the tree. And then look. Oh, got another one. It's done the same thing. Look. Oh look, it's gone up in here. Oh no. Now yeah, look, let's get it past the string. This is the string. Look, these two look pretty strong. I think we put this one in the corner. No one puts baby in a corner. Look, I can already see how they could grow up there. Hook it onto a few things. It's very hard to shoot stuff. But you can see, look, the idea is a good one. So you have them growing up here. So I just need to get some of that 
kind of lattice work going on here, or just some pig or something. If I could just even just put it in the corner, maybe it would just stick. All right, I'm gonna dig a hole. What's that, Let's do this. The idea here is that this concrete underneath here is removable. As you can see, it's been smashed a couple of times, and beneath it there is soil. You can probably see there. In fact, I've been able to get bits to use as the edging to other beds in the garden. So the idea is, is that if these take and they become quite elaborate, but their root growth it becomes quite sort of almost unsustainable by this horse trough, we could lift them, remove the horse trough, smash the concrete, bed them into the actual soil. That's, that's the idea anyway. Oh yeah. Oh, he's gonna love that. Don't you love liberating roots? Suddenly you can feel the roots go, oh, oh, thank God, thank God, thank God. Okay, so I'm gonna get it quite deep, 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 deep. And then let's get a little of this weedy stuff. Right down the bottom, don't forget, I've put holes in there now, so let's get, let's see if we can, there we go, let's go a bit deeper, let's get him in there, that's it, let's do that. Where does it, see look, we could already have, if I was to pin something there, we could already have. Gross. I've taken it around to the, uh... What the fuck are they called? Guttering. You could just stand these, and they're a bit rusty. I wonder if I could just stand this. Doesn't really make any sense, does it? It's the start of something new, guys. It's the start of something. It just struck me. I wanted to do it. It's the start of something. I don't care what you're saying. It's the start of something. It might be the start of nothing. Or it might be the start of something that doesn't last very long. It's the start of something. So I'm sat out here trying to tell Nads all about the plans for the garden. I told her that we're going to plant an oak tree over there. And what did you do? I said, tie a yellow ribbon round the old oak tree if you still want me. If you still love me, just tie a yellow ribbon round the old old tree. Forget about us, get the bus, put your game on me. I'll tie a yellow ribbon round the old old tree. Oh my god, what was that? You're like a flying lizard. <laughs> I'm not even joking, Mark. It's a parakeet. Oh. Like every time you ask what the weather is, it's sunny. Every time you hear that sound, it's a parakeet. I don't think you doing this shot. It's very, very It's not a flying lizard. Don't keep showing this view. Babe, they've seen it in this Green Fingered Hill. This view isn't for This view is This is becoming... the view I have to have. No, I know, but there, darling, even this is going to be transformational. I try and focus on the Acer. When is the summer? It's getting... Oh, my God. Oh, things don't... Have... All of this and that I love. Just is this. Yes. I don't mind about this. I like this garden feeling. I need a shed to put you in. Do you know what that is? It's a pterodactyl. Okay. Mm. Right. That parrot is looking for trouble. She flew so close to your head. You mean the flying lizard? lizard? The flying lizard. <laughs> well, look, we've got opium pods here. What happened to these roses? Which roses? They have their babe. Things don't last forever long. unless they're plastic. Things don't live forever. Did, did you show the subs what Ned got you? Hold it still so we can read it. <laughs> she loved me for the dangers I had passed, and I loved her that she did pity them. I don't really know what I mean. Hey, hey, dude. Oh, he's so he's so mischievous. Oh, I like him. Do you remember when you got when I got you that one and you hated it? Do you remember? Yeah, as a doorstop. No, but you hated it. You hated it full stop. As a doorstop. It's a great marker in the garden. 
So this one, to remind you, waste the time, it's good for you. I've, add, I've got Mark another one, but this time I put waste the time, it's good for you. I'm gonna hang this on my brand new tree, which I love here. <laughs> on this tree. What the fuck is that? Hmm? Oh my God, what is it? Ned. What is it? Ned. It's a cocoon of something. It's a what? What is... <laughs> I just seen what it is. I thought it was like a spider cocoon. <laughs> Was be I threw it for Chi Chi. She spent half an hour trying to look for it. Oh, it landed there. Yeah. Oh, my it's a rhino in the tree. Cosmos, California poppies, all coming through. This is going to be so colourful when we get back. I'm actually doing something now, Nanny Di, when you watch this, that makes me feel like a grown up gardener. I've read and researched that once poppies have bloomed and their poppy pods are around look at this look and when dolphiniums have done their business which our beautiful blue ones have this year cut them right back down to virtually the very base let me show you right down to there and i think you stand the chance of some more look, done it here. look there's another poppy coming through there new one but i think you stand the chance of some more growth by doing this i think that's right I think that's right. Aren't these beautiful things? Look at this. Look at that. I vaguely feel like a grown up gardener trying to rejuvenate. Might get a second wind from the delphiniums. But yeah, I'm basically cutting. But I'm, not, I'm sort of holding on to all the poppy heads. You never know. I might be able to get seeds from them. But yeah, so that's what I'm doing over here. Basically, now that they've bloomed, the notebooks or the advice is to cut poppies and delphiniums, interestingly, given that I've planted them next to each other, right back down to their, almost their root ball, and you might get some more growth. Wow, look what I've seen. Not only the foxglove coming through, look at these beautiful things. They're beautiful. They look like the kind of receptacles that bee, bees just drink from, don't they? Drink, drink, drink. So slightly fine on there, and on there, on there. Beautiful one coming through there. But look at these subs. Look at these. Oh, oh, I say. That's rather beautiful. Is that the monada? So from that to that. Nanny Thelma Road. It's all kicking off around here, isn't it? Except, I don't think the poppies have taken over here, unfortunately. It's a shame, mind you. Probably not enough light. This is just a very brief little interlude. I just want to share with you something that I'm very concerned about. Oh, You're just resting. Yeah. Resting your soul. I'm resting my soul. Can you see a bowl, bowl of string somewhere? If you can see it. Nice can coffee just... for you, Ma. That's it, Tommy. Thank you so yeah, much. That's that? I've got it. You got it? Have you got your core? How's your core? My core. Is your core good? I'm working on it. Oh, yeah, look. Tiny yeah. little ball of string. Where's that from, Mum? Oh, look. We need to put your little fella in your bed. My little fella. This fella. The one you got for your birthday. Oh, I know. You got to water the, the, the garden. looks quite dry behind you, Mum. It looks incredibly dry. Oh, weird. Yeah. Okay, um, go on in. There's your string. Oh, there's my string. Thank you. I really want to talk about something. Okay. I mean, in fact, Toffee does too. Toffee told me about it. Okay, so I came down here yesterday. Oh, look, the poppies are coming. Anyway, I'm not going to do a comprehensive because no, I'm going to no, do that no. later and I'm still editing the Sunday show. Yeah. But I just wanted to come down here and just very quickly have a chat with you about something very strange, yes. which you've done. Oh. I can't actually believe what I'm looking at. What? <laughs> they haven't even budded. They haven't flowered. No, Mark, my jo one job with this rose at the moment is to cut it small enough to get it into that so that it can... But those are the, its only flowers this year. No, they're not. They, they they're are. They're not, they're not. And then most of those came off that one. But no, they're so not. Why have you, why have you cut them? So why have you cut them? But they, you've got to let them flower, otherwise you it's not a rose. You've got to let them flower. You, you keep cutting them and for every one rose, two roses will come. 
That's why I went but to when no rose has arrived at all, when do you get the rose? A rose grows and you prune it as it's growing into the season so that it's not leggy. Leggy, yes, Right, exactly. got that. But then when it starts to offer up its first flowers, you don't then cut them all off hoping for the next flowers to come because mm. what you then do is before the next flowers have come, you've cut them off too. So you you end up having no flowers. No, what, what you're after is a bushy bush. And every time you cut one long, thin stem... But you rose, haven't you had a rose. Two. It doesn't matter. You'll get two where one was before. Why do you have a rose bush if you don't want the rose, rose you flowers? You do, but at the moment we're making... Especially with when these do you, two. When do you have a rose bush with flowers all over it then? Well, in the middle, towards the end of the summer, the last ditch rose... But when do gone. you decide to stop cutting the buds to let the roses flower? Well, that would be the end of summer. So you just, but what you don't do is have, so how come Sissinghurst has got roses everywhere at the moment? Well, they're that's... not cutting them off, are they? They will be with yeah, some. Yeah, but they're, they're not some... at this, but we haven't had roses down here, Mum. No, not down here because I'm still... But I saw, I came down last night and I'm looking at the floor and I'm seeing things like... Not careful, it's really, really pretty. Yeah. What? Why, why not let them flower and then cut them off? We're talking about two different problems here. I'll, I, I, I want to have this argument. I don't, it's not an argument. I no, literally no, no, don't not, understand your logic. I will ha I, I want, and I want to understand you. And we will no, have this, but with that, you're refusing to that, understand me. No, with that, it has to be cut down, tied up. I understand. Until, yeah, mum, and then that thing stuck on. Do you not actually? So that, can I just finish? So that the new stems can come up and hold. I agree. Place. Let me explain to you, you what we're talking that? about. Yes. I know I, I agree. Okay. What you're saying is, of course, it needs to be cut back because I came down here yesterday and you've managed to actually bizarrely break your obelisk. No, no. It snapped. No, no, no. Look, the. the because all I came down was, I found this thrust on top of this, like that. Was it? And I thought, someone's just come down here and shoved it on top of it. Okay, okay, so, so what I think is the mistake here is look, you've got one beautiful bud there. Every, we should have let this flowered and then put this on in the winter, cut it back in the winter and then let it grow up in the that's new year. That's true, but I'm impatient. That's very true. Well, that's why what you're doing doesn't make any sense. So, what we've got here, look, subs, yeah, no, 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 but look, all look, all of these. Yeah, I know. These would, you would have had colour. That's from that rose. From, oh no, that's not, what, from but that's rose. not even one you're putting in an obelisk. So why have you cut them off? Because they were leggy as anything. It was due, they were due to produce every time. <laughs> but surely, if you've let it, okay, listen to me, listen to me. If you've that, let it, no, 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 two. I know. Yeah, but mum, you, you, you put, you invoke leggy. Yeah. At different times. I'm sure I do. Yeah, you're, you're very, your selective legginess. Yeah. Is annoying because they were leggy but we'd let them get leggy. And yeah. what I've done in the front garden is I've then gone, let them flower at that legginess. And when those flowers die, cut it right back down. So you get the flowers at least. But you're having the first flush of flowers and what you get then if you cut it right down is no more flowers. That's not true. Well, we've both got different. Mum, I'll tell you uh, what we've got down here. What? We haven't had a single fucking rose in your rose bed and you've got three roses. No, no, but surely I should be saying that. They're my roses. Yeah, but mum, 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 mum. If they're roses, you want a rose. Of course I do, but... Where are you going to get one? But more important... Where are they? I can't. We can't have this discussion. Why are you not letting roses rose? Because the sun's going to... Shut up. I'm going to have to... This, have this to calls for one off. thing, mum. Rose bud! Incredibly generous overthinking that's doing so nicely in that. I'm going to leave it because yeah, it's mom, comfortable. Don't, but no, mom, no, don't do about mum. Don't do no, about mum. No, but I'm going to say something positive, mum. Oh, go on. You're pointing over there. Point over there. No one knows what you're pointing at. That is brilliant use of obelisk. Yeah, it's Good true. timing. Mark. Good timing. I think you're you you hit the nail on the head. Impatience. And when I came down and I saw quite literally this, and let's not forget, I, I literally roared with laughter. Had you seen it before that? Because it was standing perfectly well. It was, it was. But mum, 
It was. Look, the Mark. rose is over here. It, and the whole thing is leaning over. Yeah, that's because I couldn't. It was the day that no, I, I, I get this. I, I couldn't I, get the these sticks. I have to get these sticks all round it to keep it. It's not going to stay there on its own. It's going to knock this over. I knew that. I think you I should have just let this grow over. this season, and then as we hit the autumn, See, you should. I think when we hit the autumn, you should have cut this right back down, plonked this over the top, and then next year it'll be. All right. All right, I'll that's go with that. Except uh, it's a but what I can say that's in, yeah, it just seems a shame. For what? It just seems a shame. But look at this. I How know. fucking beautiful is that? I don't know whether you can cut thistles or whether. Why do you have to cut everything? Well, no, to, to know if you get any more. That's the question. What is wrong with you? What is you can use Edward Scissorhands? Well, listen, you can't keep talking. Mum. Stop getting annoyed with me, not with you. But mum. What? Why do you want to cut this off? It's looking beautiful. Oh my god! It is. It is looking beautiful, but I but don't know. I don't know the logic with with. This. Mum, mum, you you seem to think that as soon as growth and prettiness and flower arrives, you just cut it all. In a minute, I'm going to go and find you. I know, roses. I know what pruning is about, but, but there has he, to he be. But does. there has to be a happy medium between pruning. And actually enjoying a fucking flower. Can I just say that no? you're go yes, but you're going for the first flush of roses and I'm going for the last flush. Because uh, as you I think this is the third flush. As you've proved with your big wild rose in the middle of that bed, is that if you cut them right back in the beginning of spring, you will get the whole thing. Oh, we haven't flower. had any. This no, is their first flush because I cut it right back in winter. I'm not going to cut it back again. Once they've all gone, no, they'll no, cut no, it back no, and that's no, it. You, you, you did the cutting back Mom, and it will you come. you get one big rush of roses. I hate to break the news oh. to you. Then you get little spurts later. This is you, you telling me about yeah. roses. Yeah. Well, Mum, with all due respect, I am telling you about roses because I'm looking at your rose bed. There's not a fucking single rose in it. I haven't seen a rose all year. Okay, if this ever goes out on Green Fingered Hell, any subs that agree with me, Write in and give me the logic of why people, why we cut roses so that we'll get more roses. I feel like we're in an absolute existential funk. This is like waiting for Godot, Mum. You look like waiting for Godot on that tree. Can I just explain something? Oh my God, Mum. What? I know, I know what you're looking at. What's happened? They all fell down. What do you mean they all fell down? <laughs> well, two were down. What do you mean? You didn't even endeavour to pull them up. What do you mean they all just fell down? What do you mean? What's happened? They haven't. What do you mean they've all gone? Yes, they have now, I'm afraid. Only two had gone when I was watering. Oh my God, they're not, they're not even stable. No, no, I Mark, I haven't even looked at those. I didn't have a chance. What the fuck has happened? This isn't normal. Well. What the hell's going on? Windscreen wipers. <laughs> no, I'm alarmed. You not only have you got no roses, you've killed my bloody pie, my cypresses. On the way out, they're on the way down. <laughs> what has happened? How could you have not noticed this? Well, yes, you see, could you could have stuck a stick in? No, oh, no, Mark, will you come to you and listen to the point? What else is going on? I literally don't understand what's happened here. Is that a nun or a t-shirt? It's a nun. Oh, yeah, yeah, that was yeah, very I like a nun. That was very nice. What, 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 what is, has there been an earthquake? Mark, will you stop a minute? And, and now, of course, I've forgotten what the, <sighs> oh, listen. This is true of those cypresses as well, but what I'm going to say now, um, use for the cypresses as well. Cut, cut it back a little. We pull it all together, because even that isn't very nice for it, but you're pulling it together so that I can get it into the obelisk, right? Mm. Did all of that, and then the obelisk was standing on the earth. Yeah, that's what I saw. Yeah. Well, it was standing. It wasn't leaning or falling. It was and a I, very... Hold like, on, hold yeah. on, don't okay, speak. Okay. And I found, I found one stick that I could get into the ground oh, yes, I can see to that. pin it. Can you can yes, see that? I can see that yeah. Then, and this picture, this picture the scene, this was the day, exhausted by now, because it's taken me hours of battling. I go over there to try and get more sticks. 
which I did right. because they're down there. Yes. Um, and when I left, I checked it the day I left because I watered the night before I left. It was still standing just as I'd left it. Right. But I tried, I tried with some of those sticks to get them round it, and I can't even get them through the earth. Sticking with your <laughs> your theory of pruning everything. Yeah. Why haven't you done anything with those French kisses over there, which are now as leggy as hell, and you could have got literally a third lot of flowers? Why, why does the same logic not prevail? You don't understand that they're, they're a completely different type of flower. But they still come back, one. They do, but you wouldn't put those in a vase, for example. Most we people... don't want to put them in a vase. Most we people... want them in the fucking garden. No, I disagree. Most people grow roses so they can have some indoors as well. Ma Mom, Most that, people do. That, I mean, I'll oh. tell you what's an example, Mark, of the best oh, cotton, cotton come rose Please. I've ever seen. Is that pink one over there? Yeah. You know the one that I put on the middle table? Yeah, they're very pretty. Can... No, yeah, yeah, yeah. Not only are they pretty, they're bred. So that they, those roses stood for the whole week yeah. without losing an no. even an brilliant. even thing. No, yeah, but brilliant. But you're going to have nothing. You're not going to have a single one from that this year, are you? Well, I, I was willing when to you... sacrifice that to get the thing. Oh, good, because you sacrificed it last year. Next year, that means it'll be three years I in didn't a row without a rose. Sacrifice it last year. You did. You cut them all off. You did exactly this. No, because it did got too leg. You can't just let them roam. So it's too leggy. Now it doesn't get in an obelisk. Yeah, when is this poor? Th poor thing going to be allowed to flower I, I wouldn't mind but it's looking at you as if to say yeah carry on it's pleading me. it looks like a hostage victim it absolutely does now yeah it does it's all your fault you bought these too small right where's your string there yeah okay mum i mean i mean i have to say the one thing i'm most excited that is stunning it is no I'm absolutely so i'd be really well i mean it's your bed so it's your choice but i'd be really disappointed if you pull that in i think that would look no, nice no. in a bunch of other flowers but well, not. yes that's what they use for but uh, um, look what I've managed to rescue over there, Mum. What? Uh, yes, look. yes, yes. Look, subs, they're back up. <sighs> God, I, Mom, I felt like I'd lost my children. Just before you go, you can't put, just put one stick on the other side. Okay? Yes. Just to uh, make it not lean forward. This one? Yes. So... It almost fits now. That's the heartbreaking thing. And it, as they say Which in gardening bit? terms, it would come away like mad if you, if you could get it in. Yes! Really? There it is. Yeah, it doesn't matter if you crush them because they'll grow round on the crushed ones. I think you need to put some gloves on and you need I'll to feed gloves. it under so that like that isn't pushing oh, this okay, up. Do you see what I mean? You need to sort of, yeah. I think by feeding it in, yeah. then okay. it will slowly come down. Because for example, this bit here, look. Yeah that if you've got a pair of scissors. I was just out here doing stuff for the yeah. garden and these two tiny little birds came and they hopped right up to my foot and there were oh, two man. baby robins. Babies? This big and you could just see the red starting to come on their chest. So they weren't even red breasts. It was adorable and I think it was because I was doing water into that and they wanted water so I put some water in the lid of this this thing but it wasn't enough obviously and that, that's why i put water into the fountain in case they wanted to come back and then they were just like two boys at school they went skipping off because they could hear their mother talking have you spanked them when you go you don't half go for it don't you what do you, mean? you cane it <coughs> like a proper alky put it there mum harder i got i got did you hear me coming hard the I, the ginger gets I heard you choking yeah it was the ginger always gets me as it comes out hold that tree up mum because if you move it's going to fall <laughs> well, you think that sort of looks like a monster coming up? <laughs> Does, doesn't it? Yeah. That's its sort of head. Yes. That's its eye hole. Yeah, skull-like. There's all the fish going into oh, it like man. this. And then, and then it's going along like this, looking serious. And then it hasn't got any Look at the one above you. Look above you. I can't help it. There's bird over. shit on it as well. So birds are clearly using it as a hangout. It's our little robins. Oh, Mum, Mom, Mom, they're in big trouble though because you know how territorial robins are. Yes. You've got one there and one there already. Where are the babies going to go? Fucking hell. I don't know. Where are they going to go? I don't know, but there's going to be hell. Shit. Fight. Fight. Does it look better? That looks so much better than what I saw the other day. Well. That looks, <laughs> that looks responsible. I didn't leave it like you saw it. I Mom, wouldn't, would it I? It looked like someone had drunk a lot of vodka and just hurled <laughs> it at it. No, I didn't leave it. But the wind was blowing as I left, and I thought at the time, this isn't going to keep up. Look at your bed, Mum, with a couple of obelisks in it. I'm so Do you want excited. another one? 
Yes. Would you I, like more I'd obelisks? Another two. But if you get too many obelisks, you won't see the trees yeah. for the wood for the trees for the you obelisks. See the roses for the obelisks. Oh, mum, look at your hand. So annoying. Oh, mum, they must be able to do something. Anybody who's got a good idea about that sub, let me know. Can I feel it? Is it yeah. like? It's oh strange. yeah, it's got no energy anymore. It's just like mine. Flick mine. Stop you playing the piano. No, but I have to go. It's really, I have to go. <laughs> well, I was thinking that because I was thinking of me, and it's always a bit. Of... <laughs> what the fuck? It's a bird. <laughs> looking for the two teenagers. It's a Jurassic world. It is. Get it in your mum. 